he mentioned that a horse has responsibilities and a human has responsibilities. What would those be? Well, the, 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 the horse has to look where it's going. You know, you want a horse to be able to, when, you're, when you asked it to go, you want it to maintain that gait. You don't want to be out on a trail ride and have it jigging all over the trail or, or off wondering about something. You don't want him to walk down and put his foot in a, in a hole and stumble. You want him to look where he's going and then maintain the, the gait that you've given him. You don't want to be having to correct him all the time. You want to have him give him a direction he fulfills that direction. So you, you want those kind of things. Us as, us as human, we can't be normal. You know, it, uh, I remember a favorite uh, quote of mine that the natural man is an enemy to God. Well, he's also an enemy to the horse because he, he only thinks about himself. And so you got to, your first responsibility is think from the horses, you know, not to be normal. So you, you got to get your ego out of the way. If I were to get inside this round corral with a horse, especially a green horse, I better get my ego, leave it on the outside. So I want to, I want to know that that horse, uh, I want to know its needs. I want to, I want to be responsible to know where to be, when to be, how to be. You know, I got to learn all those kind of things. And that horse really pays attention. So I got to be focused. Uh, if I, if I lost my focus of what I'm trying to do, or if he sensed, you know, something in me that if, if I got mean or mad or angry or something of that nature, uh, we're going to lose the battle. And uh, so we can be firm. You know, we've got to learn, we got to learn how to be firm, but we got to fulfill those responsibilities so that the horse can do, so we can help the horse. But we, that's what we got to, those are some of our responsibilities.